Hey Sophie, give me a sick beat. <laughs> Welcome back to school. Keep up your grades. You better not be worried about any cute babes. Three o'clock bell has finally sound, so you can drop all your troubles down. Wiggle, wiggle, what? <laughs> Enjoy back to school. Welcome back after fall break. Remember to keep your grades high and check Infinite Campus frequently. So you don't have to be held back or have bad grades. <laughs> Remember to turn in missing assignments. And that way you can get a reward at the end of the nine weeks. And also watch your mouth so you don't get ice up. And watch your actions. Do your best. Today we're here with Mr. Kretz and he's our Teacher of the Week. So, Mr. Kretz, do you have any kids? I do. I have an 18-month-old son. His name is Renly. Where are you from? From Cleveland, Ohio, originally. Okay, how many years have you been teaching here? This is my, here, this is my fourth year teaching here, sixth year teaching overall. What's your favorite thing about OCMS? Um, students are cool, teachers and staff, easy to work with, cool environment, laid back. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, OCMS, we're here with your Bible verse of the week. It's 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This means that God will help you through all your hardships and anxiety, so just lean on him when you need somebody to talk to. Have a great day. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I had a chocolate cupcake right now. Hey, me too. But, you know, we're in luck because today is National Chocolate Cupcake Day, which is pretty great to me. It sounds like one of the best days of the year. And there's no beer day, so we're doing yeah, good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, we're perfect. And then, uh, isn't tomorrow, like, uh, something about bluegrass, something about Kentucky? Yeah, tomorrow's National Kentucky Day. Dang, I love our state. Everybody's yee-yee around here. Yee-yee. Go bluegrass. So this is Aubrey Sandford, and she's our Riddle of the Week winner. Last week's riddle was, what belongs to you, but other people use it more than you? So what was the answer? Your name. Well, thanks. Hey guys, it's real time! This week's Riddle of the Week is David's father has three sons, Snack, Crackle, and... If you think you know the answer, email this address... Yo, Clayton, what are you cooking in that jar? You're just... Yeah, reading winner is Gabe Tidwell from Miss Porter's 8th grade period. We're here with Gabe Tidwell, our Youth and Caught Reading winner for the week, and what do you like about reading? Uh, I like the fantasy and adventure. I mean, when I read the books, I really picture it in my mind. Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite book? Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer. And what are you currently reading? E. Mark and Patino. And what do you like to do in your free time? Play with you again. Nice. Hey, OCMS, we're here with your question of the week. Would you rather go to the beach or the mountains? Let's go see what everyone says. We're here with Miss Payne and Michael. And what's your answer? The beach. Mountains. Okay. Hey, guys, this is Miss Bunch and Miss Schroeder. So what's the answer to the question? Mountains. Beach. Hey guys, this is Caleb. So what's your answer to the question? Beach. Okay, beach one, three to two. We're back with your beta news. Attention, convention will be here before you know it. It may seem like it's a long way away, but it will be here soon. Start working on all your visual arts projects so you can have them done before convention is here. The photography is color, B&W, digitally enhanced, painting, graphite, or other. All other projects are on National Beta website. And our next meeting is November 21st, and we had a meeting yesterday, so if you didn't get the paperwork, one of your beta sponsors will have it. And your first convention payment deposit is October 25th, and if you're going. Hey guys, we started a new segment. It's called Eagle MVP, and so what it is, is like a teacher picks you for something like you did good in class, you didn't get good grades, or a coach picks you for like... You didn't play good in your game last night or something. Okay, we're here with Chloe Dukes. She's our first ever OCMS Eagle MVP, so congratulations. And what do you do to get good grades? I do my work and turn it down. Okay, um, so follow that. Maybe you'll be the next one. 
I wonder what's happened strange and odd around the world. Well, Trace, in California, there's this 2,175 pound pumpkin. Well, that's a pretty good sized pumpkin. Yep. Also, an eight year old boy caught a shark. 600 pound shark. Oh, wow. You, you want to know also this boy? Well, guy, he rode a wheelie for 51 miles on a bicycle. Whoa. That's, that's a lot. And that's your strange and odd news. Hey guys, we're here with Nicholas and Trent. And so what we're doing for the game this week is we're doing a three-legged race. And so like our legs are tied together and like first one to the camera wins. Yeah, me and Trent are about to take dubs. So Chloe, count it down. Three, two, okay, one. three, two, one, go. <laughs> Happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered. Okay. And, and we're, we're back. back with your joke of the week. Make sure if any of you fans out there have a joke for next week, you send it to this email address. Chloe, what? What's the world's tallest building? I don't know what. A library, because it has so many stories. <laughs> uh, but, um, <laughs> hey Georgia, what? Why didn't the son go to college? I don't know. Because he had a billion degrees. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was your joke of the week. Hey guys, we're here with Jack and he's the suit of the week. So Jack, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one sibling. Is he a brother or a sister? A brother. And he is a senior and I will be very sad when he leaves. Okay. So what's your favorite subject? Social studies. Okay. Uh, who's your favorite teacher? I have to go with Mr. Kress. Okay, so there you have it. It's through the week. We're here with Carson Kennedy, and he has been caught helping other kids in the classroom. So, Carson, what have you done? Uh, today I saw somebody struggling on IXL, so I helped him out. Why'd you help him out? I don't know, he just looked like he was struggling, so. Okay, so. That's Carson Kennedy. We're here with Miss Heron, and she's going to tell us a little bit about Red Ribbon Week. Um, okay, so Red Ribbon Week is a week that is um, recognized nationally, and it is something that was started to recognize uh, substance abuse and recognize the consequences and uh, things like that of substance abuse. So. Uh, it's definitely a drug and alcohol prevention type situation, um, just to kind of get different kids um, in schools, elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, kind of thinking about um, how substance abuse affects us all and how we can hopefully stay away from substance abuse and live a healthy life that is drug and alcohol free. Oh, uh, when is it? It is next week, uh, so we will have actually some dress up days Monday through Wednesday. Our theme this year is that the message is clear, drugs are a nightmare, or something to that effect. Um, but So it's kind of a scary theme. Uh, we thought with Halloween that would be fitting. So um, Monday through Wednesday we'll have dress up days for um, wear pajamas or baseball hats or whatever hats. And, um, and then Thursday is our Truth and Consequences event with the 8th graders. And actually on Tuesday we have an event with the 7th graders that will be um, a person that's coming to speak to our seventh graders. So be sure to participate. So this is Maddie and she has a hidden talent. Can you show us what you can do? <laughs> so when did you learn how to do that? Um, last year. How did you learn how to do that? Um, one of my friends was asking me if I could take my hand from behind my back and put it over my head. So I went home and I was asking my brother and he taught me. Thank you. We're here with Conspiracy Theory Curtis, and he is here to tell us some mind-blowing facts about our world. Yes, I am, kind sir. So, if you're on a unicycle, you're technically always doing a wheelie because you're always on one wheel. Okay, second one. The Earth is flat, and Antarctica, there's a secret military base that like protects a barrier that leads to another dimension. Well, uh, technically another world that's connected to our flat earth and of course the government is using microwaves to brainwash everyone that's watching this video 
so you'll forget this in 24 hours. So repost it, make another video so you will remember. Be safe. Ooh. Wear your aluminum, al aluminum metal hats. It's a question. Man, I'm done with these books in the library. They're getting so boring. Well, I mean, I guess it's a good thing that we have a book fair coming, or else yeah. uh, those those books are gonna get bullied. Yeah, I know. I think I heard that one pretty bad. I think it's actually uh, October 25th to November 1st. Not like I said in the last one, where October 25th to November 31st. <laughs> that would be a long book fair. <laughs> This week's book of the week is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games is about 16-year-old Katniss Everdeen that wakes up in a post-apocalyptic world and has to fend for herself. If you want this book, <laughs> come down to the media center and check it out. Yeah! Dang, bro, it's getting pretty hot in here. You want to go outside? Yeah, but, I mean, you'll probably have to leave that on because, I mean, it's a low of 44. I mean, you're going to freeze. So then tomorrow, it's supposed to be a little bit better. High of 73. Hey. And yesterday was like a low of 38, so I mean, you would have froze to death. Yeah, no, that's pretty cold. Just keep indoors because it's going to be real cold. Don't get hypothermia. Yeah. Please. Yeah, please. That, that, would be, that would be unfortunate. You might lose a toe also. It should be really weird. Yeah. I can only have like four toes on one foot. I know. Or like missing a finger or a thumb or a pinky. I know, right? That'd be weird. So today we're here with Pastor Wright, and on Wednesday he spoke at FCA. Can you tell us what you talked about? I uh, talked about attitude, about changing your attitude about life and uh, how that would be your destiny, how you went through life with a good attitude. You'll be, you, you be in favor of uh, not only God, but you're in favor of man. Why do you think FCA is important? I think it's very important to get the, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ out to all people. And it's an awesome place uh, to start. Uh, in, in schools. Thank you. Today we're here with Mr. Schrader and we're going to be talking about the 8th grade K-Prep review. So what are exactly are we going to be talking about? Well, we're, I'll just go ahead and tell you uh, how you did as far as reading, math, and science goes. So those are the three areas you all took as 7th graders. And so when, I, when we look at how you did as far as reading, uh, there was a slight, didn't do quite as good as you did as sixth graders. So it wasn't, it wasn't a large decrease, but when you all were sixth graders, 59.7% of you were either proficient or distinguished. That went down to 58% last year. So this year, we really need, and that's just every year, we need to become better readers. You've heard me say that a lot, but as evidenced by the numbers, we went backwards in that area. But also, the percentage of novice students went up as well. So in sixth grade, it was 15.9% of your class were novice. Well, that went up to 18% last year. So obviously, the longer you're in school, what should happen? We should progress. We should get better. Yeah. We didn't do that. So as a group, we need our eighth graders to really focus and buckle down more. And overall, we. You all can perform better than what you did last year, so make sure you work to do that because over time, third, fourth, fifth grade, you did that. Went backwards a little bit last year as far as reading goes. Now in math, that was a little bit better. We actually had a greater percentage of you all that were proficient or distinguished compared to sixth grade. In sixth grade, you were 44.9% proficient distinguished, got up to 47%. Now that was, slightly above the state average uh, so that that was good and also got better the novice did go up a little bit we went from 8.5 to 10.5 percent novice so still that's a really good number but we want to see that go down actually last year's eighth graders had the novice percent in single digits now science that that was a, a toughie we only had about 24 percent of our seventh graders that were proficient or distinguished. Now the state average was about that also. So to be successful in science and really social studies this year, it's gonna take your ability to read for information, to be able to read charts, graphs, and interpret data and answer questions based on what you're reading here and now, but also mix that with the content that you're learning this year. So overall, 
uh, you know, math got better, didn't do as good in reading. It wasn't a major, you know, decline, but we did go back a little bit. Uh, but, you know, this year you'll be taking social studies as well. Uh, we've historically done very well in social studies. And I expect you all to really grow even more this year than you did last year because that has been the trend for all of our students at Ohio County Middle School over time to really go out with a bang as, as eighth graders. So just make sure you're working hard, do what you need to do in class uh, to make that happen. And so that's kind of a review of uh, what y'all did on K-Prep last year. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.